Hello, in this short video, we are going to give a bare bones definition of a ring. So let's go ahead and define a ring. So definition. So a ring is basically a set with two binary operations, which we can call addition and multiplication, which satisfy some properties. So a ring R is a set with two binary operations. This one here, which we're gonna call addition. And this one here, which we're going to call multiplication. I know my definitions aren't very rigorous, but such that. And then we have the following properties. So one, so first R under addition is an abelian group. Remember abelian just means that the operation is commutative. So it's a group, um, you know, it's got a binary operation which is called addition, which is commutative. That's what the abelian part means. Um, it has an identity element, um, it's associative, and every element has an inverse. So it's a group. It's not empty, <laughs> but the existence of identities actually uh, guarantees that. So that's an abelian group. Um, two, you, you need to have associativity under multiplication. So for all x, y, z, and r, we have associativity of multiplication. So we have that uh, x times y times z is equal to x times y times z. Or you can write this one first. It, do, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So this is uh, associativity of multiplication. So I'll just put the dot. So the multiplication is associative. Very, very important. Okay. And the last condition is that um, the distributive laws hold. These are special because these are the only things in the definition that connect the, the two binary operations, right? So these just say for any x, y, z, and r, okay, so for any x, y, z, and r, we have x times y plus z, and then this just distributes like, like you expect it would. It would be x times y plus x times z, just like you would expect. And likewise, um, you can do... Um, we can do it on the right, so I can use, I wonder if I should use the same ones, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll do it like this, x plus y times z is equal to x times z plus y times z. A little bit more natural to do it that way, x, y, z, x, y, z. And that has to be true, so left distribu distributivity and right distributivity, this, this is the distributive law. Very important. Um, that this holds. Now you can add some some things to the rings. You can add certain things like you, you might have a multiplicative identity. You could, it's called a ring with one. Um, and you could also have a multiplicative inverse. Um, or you can also have the case where the multiplication is commutative. You could have a commutative ring. Um, so all of those things can happen and then when some of those things happen and some of those things don't happen, you end up with different types of rings and you start to classify them in different ways. Um, so you look at integral domains, you look at fields, you look at commutative rings, you look at non-commutative rings. Um, and so you start to study um, different things. So yeah, I hope it's been helpful. Take care.